morning guys. I have woke up near Whitby Pier. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to walk to States today. It's about 11 miles and maybe on a bit further. I want to enjoy this coast. I think I see a seal up there, but it's a beautiful morning. Let me know where I've woken up. So here we go. Got my own private beach. Nobody's here but me. I think those are birds, not seals. But look, I'll show you where we slept last night. The sand is my carpet. Sand is my carpet this morning, guys. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning. Absolutely beautiful. I found some sea glass last night and I found two, pe two ammonites. And look at what a glorious sight to wake up to. I'm walking to States there today and I'm even camped next to a lifeguard station, look, RNLI. Absolutely beautiful. And up there, in, in between those beach huts, is my lovely Aggie, my homestead. I had a wonderful night's sleep. And... I forgot to tell them this morning on my live on Facebook that I had my, my desert surf hat on that Dexter Surf Shop in Scarborough gave me. So hello Dex, thank you very much for the hat. Also, my wonderful, wonderful friends, Kate and Chris, love them to bits, have spent lots of time with them recently, fellow coast walkers. They had, Kate gave birth to her baby boy, Magnus. He was a whopping eight pound, 14 ounces. Magnus is as strong as an ox. What a boy. <laughs> absolutely beautiful boy I've spent lots of time with Kate recently having girly chats and stuff and spent time with Chris and I'll tell you what they are a wonderful couple Kate is just the, the most amazing woman I love her to bits and I'm dying to have cuddles with Magnus on the coast I was crying tears of happiness last night when I got the news absolutely beautiful my youngest fellow coast walker magnus one day old absolutely beautiful guys he is stunning he's such a handsome handsome cuddly bonnie boy as some of the scottish people were saying so congratulations guys anyway up there between those two beach huts i'm going to show you is aggie Oh, look, some dog's lost his ball. I'm going to show you where I woke up last night. Let's go up. I've got my toes wet in the sea. And my bright, colourful leggings on so the whole world can see I'm over here. I'm not really in, um, in camouflage, am I? <coughs> right, let me show you where I slept. And the funny thing is, when I got here last night, a couple were coming to the beach hut right next to where I pitched the tent, where I was going to pitch a tent. And I thought they'd tell me off and they said something about that you, or oh, there's a fishing boat, that you cannot get, you're not supposed to use your beach hut, I think, till June the 1st. So they didn't fuss at me or anything. They just said, have a good night. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. So, there I am. Right there, in between two beach huts. And Chris, the coast walk, uh, Chris walks the UK, wrote on my tent, never give up. Isn't that wonderful? I got to go to the RNLI building yesterday and it was fantastic. I've got another um, live video that I'm gonna put, I'm uh, not live video, another video I'm gonna put up that I made yesterday as well. But this is my living room this morning. Bedroom's over there. There's my bedroom. And there's my living room. We're at West, Whitby West Cliff. Isn't that amazing. Look at that. That 
absolutely beautiful. And I couldn't turn Aggie the other way so I could face the sea. But she just fit in there. And I've used rocks to pull out the ends of the tent and the air thing on the tent. But there you go. Sometimes you've got to adapt. Have a lovely, lovely day, guys. I'm going to sit here and enjoy the sun a minute. Enjoy the sea and sun. I'll be on to stage today. Bye.